and I call it name association. So I'm going to give you a sentence, and you cannot say yourself, but I'm going to give you a sentence, and you just tell me the first name that comes to mind. And the first sentence is, funniest person in the locker room. Uh, there's, there's, there's like a million, there's millions of them. I don't know, Pass. There's okay. so many of them. Uh, aside from you, last man standing at the bar. God. Mm, good answer. Uh, most beautiful uh, woman wrestler slash valet in real life. Uh, can it be old the whole time or does it have to be down? Uh, peak. Any time ever. Uh, Missy Hyatt. Mm. What was it about Missy Hyatt? Eh? What was it about Missy Hyatt that you liked? I just liked? love blondes. Hmm? Blondes, yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen prefer blondes, I believe. Um, most bullied. Most bullied? Yeah. Oh, re re uh, re Renee. I uh, forget his name. I'm bad at this shit, sorry. Okay, no worries. Uh, we'll, we'll continue best as we can. Smelliest wrestler. Bosman. Yeah, I've had that name many times. Um, biggest stooge for the dirt sheets. Don't know. No. Okay, I'll carry on with a few more of these. I'll see if I can get some out. Um, yeah, go ahead. Keep no, coming. it's okay. Uh, well, this this is one uh, most dangerous situation you ever found yourself in. Um, in uh, we're in Panama City being held up. What happened? That I don't know the story. What happened? Uh, I was in Panama City and got held <laughs> you know, up in the casino. <laughs> I rolled into a, I'm leaving the casino to go down to like I don't know this festival or something like that. I went into an alley to piss and got held up. Only took like three hundred bucks. Hmm. The nicest person in wrestling. Chris Candido. Mm -hmm. Fine answer. I speak to Johnny all the time, or, or, or fairly frequently as well, so yeah. Yeah, he texted, me the other, he, he texted me the other day. Yeah. Um, the town with the most eager ladies. But the town with the most what? Eager ladies. Of uh, looser morals. Eager ladies? E eager ladies who uh, might want a piece of the action. Oh, um... Columbus, Ohio. That's like the most random town. Why Columbus? I don't know, because there's a lot of great-looking blondes there. Good man. Um, let me have a look. Uh, the biggest ladies' man. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a couple here uh, that used to be ladies' men. Uh, Ray Mysterio, the biggest ones. Ray Mysterio. Really? Billy Kidman. Uh... Matt Stryker. Uh, yeah, there, there are three big ones. <laughs> and who had the lowest standards when it came to ladies? Uh, no, okay then. Um, I'll give you a few more, and then we'll get back to the normal Dude, questions. Because the thing is, because the thing is, the only reason your standards are getting lower is because you're getting drunker and it's getting later in the night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. The beer goggles are on. It's everybody, everybody's standards <laughs> in those situations is fucking the same. <laughs> it's on a downward slide, like, the, like with time. Yeah. Um, the loudest spot caller. Oh, me. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, dude, I yell shit all the way across the ring. But, uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> because it does, they're not paying attention to that. Um, the best celebrity you met through wrestling? I don't know, but there are tons of them, like some rappers, uh, a bunch of, like, because you got to understand, Football players, baseball players, hockey players, basketball players are all wrestling fans. So Monday, you're doing Monday Night Raw. There might be five different Green Bay Packers there, and they want their picture with you. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there was just so many guys. Uh, maybe, maybe, but I guess you had to say, like, uh, like Mayweather would be up there. Yeah, it's probably Mayweather. Yeah. 
was he buying the drinks that night or did he hang out with him afterwards or was it just a photo? No, we were in the back. He came to one of our shows back in Vegas like a long, long time ago. And, um, and, and you know who Louis Dangerously is? A uh, sign guy, Dudley, the yeah. Dudley's guy. Yeah, yeah. Sign, he's sign guy. He's there. I didn't even remember it. I, I, I just found this out like a year ago. Um, we're standing in the back and, and I'm smoking a joint and I'm drunk smoking a joint. And he goes, you must have tried to hand you that joint to Mayweather like 10 times. And he just kept saying, no, no. <laughs> I don't even remember meeting him. <laughs> but I know I did. Thank God he remembered. <laughs> uh, who was the uh, hardest deliverer of weapon shots? Who just laid it in harder than anyone else? Uh, everybody. Mm. But ev- everybody. It's just, it, dude, it just happens. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not everyone. You can get a stiff ladder, stiff ladder to the headshot, like at any, at any time in the ring. You know what I mean? But Bubba could, but yeah, Bubba was pretty good at night and then because he liked it real. Uh, I most, liked it real. You know what I mean? Yep. Most legit tough badass. Tracy Smothers. Have you ever actually seen yes. him in a fight? Tracy. Tracy Smothers, dude. When he was like 14, he, he, uh, down where he grew up, everybody hit, there was all these big farms. There was like a thousand acre farm over here, 500 acre farm over there. And during the 4th of July, they would all get together, you know, all these farmers and they would have like a, you know, a big, a big fair thing. And they used to do bare knuckles boxing and fucking bet on which, uh, which farm had the toughest farm hand? You know what I mean. Yeah. And you'd be in this, and you'd be in this like that, like a pit, like that they were boxing fucking pigs in. You're in there bare knuckles boxing, and all these huge ass money guys are like throwing money into the ring, bet money here. He's 14 years old, and he was doing those fights. <laughs> Tracy Smothers was a badass dude. dude I. I- <laughs> Another one of the nicest guys, but dude, I, I was asked sometimes who the toughest guy in the locker room is. So I'd be like, yeah, Tracy. Because uh, sometimes he was. Uh, well, well, actually, that's what I'm going to get at is uh, someone told me a story once that um, I think it was like, I don't know if it was like the big brawl that happened outside that Tammy Sitch started, and Tracy Smothers wanted to take on the police dogs wearing just a towel. Uh, yeah, Tracy, once he goes black, you know what I'm saying? I That used to. When I used to get enraged younger, the younger before you, you grow out of that, you grow out of like you you should be growing out of your anger as your life gets better. But, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, I used to be like that. Like you don't see anything. You're just reacting. Yeah. So yeah. I, 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 I know what he goes through like that. I'll uh, ask you a couple more, then we'll move on to regular questions again. Uh, the most strange thing you ever saw at the travel lodge. No, nah, I don't really want to talk about that. No, okay then. Um, well, there are a lot of strange sites, so I know that. Uh, biggest river, dude. We that that was the thing about our locker room. Um, I was just talking to Kevin Sullivan this morning about it. That uh, about how they used to fucking they used to rib each other hard, like real hard, like. Like like Vaseline in your your hotel room uh, doorknob and stuff like that and stuff and stuff at keyholes and, and the, the the I think the another good famous one is um uh, the British Bulldogs uh, uh, Fuji put uh, put hot uh, icy hot like on the, on the bulldog's ass <laughs> and they were running around fucking losing their minds. Oh, uh, they also, I think they, they used they used to screw with Jake Snake, too. Somebody used to screw with Jake Snake. Like, when there would be a big one and they would come out pissed. <laughs> and you got to be the guy laying there being like, oh, I didn't beat the shit out of Snake. 